trying to explain to you when they tell you get out of debt, that's stupid because the money is debt. And the only way money gets out of debt is via taxes. So all the people who work for money, you read rich debt, poor debt, what's lesson number one? Rich people don't work for money. Correct. Money is debt. I use debt as money. And everybody thinks getting in debt is bad. Well, who told you that? I think the stock market is for losers. Why would you put money in the stock market when it's manipulated? That's what I think about. So I'm always watching the manipulation going on behind the scenes. That's what my brain is focusing on all the time. And I don't pay taxes. Question is, how is it I don't pay taxes? And I can tell you. That's an, that's an important question because most people are so, most Romanians and most people in the United States cheat on their taxes because they hate taxes so much. But you don't have to cheat on taxes if you understood how money was working. You think Donald Trump pays taxes? No. That's what I'm thinking about. I'm constantly thinking about how do I make money? How do I serve more people? How do I create new businesses? Make more money and pay less taxes and serve more in taxes because that's what money is. Okay. And the person has been told to go to school, get a job and work hard. You're going to pay taxes. Why? Because you work for money. So the question, well, how does a person not work for money and pay no taxes? To be an employee, you choose to be an employee. You want to be an entrepreneur, you choose to be an entrepreneur, but you've got to study. They're two, two, two different people. What you have to study is different. Mentally, emotionally, and spiritually, they're different people. An entrepreneur is extremely different than an employee but it's a different study. The trouble is our school system trains us to be employees. Go to school, get a job, work hard, save money, pay your taxes, get out of debt, and invest in the stock market. That makes you poor. You've had the chance to be taught early. You've been challenged early. Most people don't get that chance. Where should people start? Question the saying I just gave you, go to school. What do you learn about money? The fact that you just told me that um, you need to go to get a job to have money. But I didn't say that. You said that. I said that. This is what we've been told. Yes. Yeah, so go to school, get a job. Question that. Okay. Why would you save money when they're printing money? I know you don't save money. You're building businesses. Why would you save money when they're printing money? Because you didn't, I don't know. Because, because that's you, what you've been told to do. Of course. So question that. You see, if you cannot think, I cannot help. I questioned all that. Why would I save money when they print money? That's what happened in 1971 when President Nixon took the dollar off the gold standard. They can print as much as they like. Then they tell you, so that you go to school, you get a job, you become an employee. You pay taxes because you're working for money. Then they tell you to save money. Do you know why they tell you to save money? I don't know. Because the system of banking your, it's nothing to do with communism or capitalism. It's the banks run the world. The rich run the world. They don't care if you're communist or capitalist. So when you save, so let's say you save one dollar US or one euro, one yen, the banking system can lend out 10. So the entire system is called the fractional reserve system. The fractional reserve system is also printing money. And then they tell you to save money. So they, they want you to save money so they can lend out your money 10 times. So your dollar became worthless 10 times over. And then they used to pay you 10% interest on your money. Now it's at best 1%. And they're still lending it out 10 times. So that's why you don't save money is because your money is becoming worth less and less and less and less and less. The banks are getting richer and richer and richer. Then they tax you on that interest you they pay you. That 1% interest, if they pay you that much, Japan is zero. 
and the Japanese are so stupid, they still save money. We also stupid. have zero. Yeah, and they still save money. How stupid is that? So that's what I would question. So how come that happens? Now, if I borrow money, guess what? Do I pay taxes on debt? I guess no. Why is that? I know so you. Th th this is this is what I'm saying. Okay, question everything. Okay. So when they lend out money, that's how money is created. Money is debt. How do you store value then? Because we all work, uh, and we have a. Uh, let's say, a, a lifespan of when we are productive and then comes retirement and you retired early. Because How? I don't follow the go to school, get a job, work hard, see. So that's hypnosis. They hypnotize people into being employees who will work hard, pay taxes, save money, get out of debt and invest in the stock market. Until you question those sayings, those words, you'll be a poor person. So how, so when they lend out, them, why is debt tax free? I don't know. Because that's how money is created. And so the banks love it. They love people borrow lots of money. So how do I get rich? I borrow money and I buy assets with it. The poor person borrows money and buys liabilities like purses, cars, houses, and they get poorer and poorer and poorer. But I use debt, I borrowed 300 million after the crash dollars in 2000. By 2010, I had borrowed $300 million to buy real estate that made me rich. And the interest rates kept coming down so that my cost of money kept coming down. And so everybody else is saying, oh, you should get out of debt. You know why? because they don't question the hypnosis they're under. You've been hypnotized to work hard for money, to save it. The fractional reserve system prints it. And then uh, they pay taxes of taxes. So I, get, I have all this debt and I get rich. So the question is, how do you learn to use debt to get rich? Because they tell you not to, do, not to get out of debt. So all I'm saying to you is if a person does not question what they've been taught, they will always be poor. They've been hypnotized into being poor. Then you put it in the stock market, you know, in pensions, right? So let's say I put $100 in a pension plan. When do I get that money back? I, I think this is why I work. This is why I teach. You have to question what they're teaching. Okay. So I put, I put my money in a pension. I might not ever get it back because they could lose it. So the question I always say is, well, when do I get my money back? And the average person has been hypnotized, go to school, get a job, work hard, save money and invest in a pension. And you never get your money back. The whole thing was designed to keep you poor. So that's why I argue with you un until a person questions what's already been put in their head. And that's what my poor dad put in my head. Go to school, get a job, work hard. And that's America, the same as Romania, it's not any different. We used Save to money, put it, in the, put it in the stock market. You never get your money back. We all look up to the American dream. Is it all fake? I'm coming down to your book now because- No, please let me finish, okay? Okay. Until you question what's already in your head, you will do what's already in your head. Okay. There is a, I don't know if people are Christian or not, but it's in the Bible because the words become flesh. Go to school, get a job, work hard, save money, get out of debt, invest in the stock market, buy a house, buy a car. Until you question that, you're hypnotized. You'll be a poor person all your life. But what? What's wrong with losing? Okay. Question what you've been taught. And you ask me superficial questions rather than why wouldn't I invest in Apple or Tesla? So that's a more important question. That's an open question. You can do I, what I, you... I, But why wouldn't I invest in them? Because you don't get your money back. Yes. I'm starting to learn. Yes. I can make money much faster than Apple or Tesla. And I would use debt. I wouldn't use my money. 
But do you think they use their money to grow? Of course not. Look at Amazon, this guy Bezos, right? He's one of the richest men in the world. Do you think he pays any taxes? He doesn't even pay much profit to his investors. Do you think Bezos became a billionaire paying taxes? I wouldn't bet on that. He doesn't pay taxes. Trump doesn't pay taxes. I don't pay taxes. So the question is, how do, guy, how do guys like us do it is the question you should be asking. Because the rich people make the rules. We study different things. I wouldn't go to school. And that's why I said challenge what you, you've been taught. Why would you go to school when you learn nothing about money? Why would you pay taxes? That's a very tough question, and we have, we have that issue. But we, I it's think not you, just. But it's not just Romania; it's the worldwide. You see, please understand, it's not just Romania. You must think, you know, today if you know people complain, I don't make enough money in Romania. Well, you have a cell phone; you can make money all over the world. You can't make money in dollars, yen, flatnik, pesos. You know, it's just limited thinking. If a person doesn't change what's inside their head, the actual thoughts running their brain, which are words, they'll never change. So the change begins when you question, go to school, get a job, work hard, pay taxes, save money, get out of debt, and invest in the stock market. Until you, until you question that one, nothing changes.